My name is Latoya Shante Snell. I am a former chef and currently a runner, motivational speaker, and I am looking to go into the world of triathlon. Honestly, being a triathlete actually scares the hell out of me. My hurdle is that I don't know how to swim. The idea of surrendering to the water is overwhelming to me. I don't like the feeling of water touching my face, my ears, my nose. It might be something that might be completely irrational, but it's my fear. It's beyond just the idea of wanting to be a triathlete. I want this to be a fear that's behind me. So we're off to actually meet Morgan Lattimore. That's the gentleman that's supposedly gonna whip me into shape. So I'm hoping that through meeting him, he'll be able to get that fear that I have tapped into me that I can just kind of like unleash myself just a little bit. Well, I'm in Brooklyn, New York. It's cold. Being here, uh, meeting Latoya is interesting exciting and fun and I, I really look forward to spending time with her in the pool and really getting to know her uh, because the relationship that you have on the phone right uh, is on, it only goes so far. I heard about Latoya through a friend and they mentioned how she uh, wanted to do an Ironman 70.3 one day but the, her, her only issue was she couldn't swim and not that she just couldn't swim that she was afraid of the water from maybe almost you know drowning. So I hope that my, you know, my training as an adult learner swim instructor for U.S. Masters, uh, I'm able to help her overcome those fears, uh, let go of those thoughts that push her away from the water, and help her feel more comfortable with achieving her goals. Right now I'm preparing dinner for Roderick and Coach Morgan. I'm excited, a little nervous, but I could definitely use an option to pick someone's brain. Um, people who have actually gone through it, um, particularly people of color. There's a heavy stereotype of black people don't swim, and there's a lot of history to it. Does it stem from fear? Does it stem from the unknown? Does it stem from things because we don't have certain things available to us? Is it not shown in our community? I, I want to be able to normalize these things. Mm. All right, that's Roger, how did you start? Uh, what made you actually start like triathlons or even swimming for a matter? Honestly, my fear of swimming. I was terrified when I was really young. And my mom, thankfully, she said I should get lessons. Well, because of, you know, being black in America, you're not offered as much when it comes to um, swimming pools and having everything you need. Um, so that played a favor, but also not knowing if I could or if I was physically capable. Um, and seeing that and breaking that barrier and getting past that is when I fell in love with it. You know, once you once you overcome that fear, you're like, I want to be in the water all the time. It's so nice, so so nice. How old were you? I was ten. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Not having both of your legs, like, does it add on to the fear? It did. It did because I didn't know how I would save myself if anything happened. Right. Which is why we got the lessons to to overcome it. But getting to that point. It took a lot of trust. Um, it took a lot of a lot of work. Swimming is one of those, like we were talking about earlier, cycling and, and running. You can get faster, but swimming you really need to work on. Right. Yeah, that's the I would say one of the toughest of the disciplines, but you're gonna benefit the most if you if you work it. What do you do when you, somebody with no legs tell you like just do that? And you're like, oh, my legs are dragging. Well, you don't really need them. <laughs> <laughs> legs who need them? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? so, but it's that it's building that it's building that confidence, mm -hmm. and that's the hardest part. You'll get to the point where we work together that you'll be able to explain what you're doing in your stroke, mm -hmm. right? That means you have an understanding of the water that you didn't have before. And that with that knowledge comes confidence. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Because right now I'm completely underconfident in the water. I'm confident standing up in three feet. That's where I'm, I'm confident at. 
In the kitchen. No. You confident in the kitchen? In the kitchen, right. no, I definitely. We not. Yeah. Right. We, you gotta bring, you gotta bring yeah. that to, yeah. you gotta bring that to like the Like the way that you guys kind of like tense up in the kitchen is the way I tense up in water. Like, you know, like um, that serious face, there's no smile when, you know, like when people are talking about, oh, you know, you feel lighter and, in the water. I'm like, I can't relate to that. Well, we related to that because we listened to you because we trusted you. Mm -hmm. Cause you could have burned our food. Oh yeah, we could have, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but I still ate it. <laughs> <laughs> Burn all you want. See, I keep eating. Like, oh, yeah, this is a good point. <laughs> it'll, just be, it'll just be Cajun, like we talked about before. It's Cajun, you know, it's not burnt. <laughs> it's not burnt, it's Cajun, okay? But it's funny that, I know you're talking about like, stereotypical, we talk about blacks and swimming, right? Mm -hmm. I train coaches, uh, I certify coaches for US Masters, right? To coach and everything, and I, and I go around the country and I do that. And you see a lot of, well, we don't have the ability, we don't have the means, right? And and before they, when we were young, we didn't. We didn't, like, and that's weird. We all are older, we might not be super old, but like, if you go back 10 or 15 years, right. our opportunities weren't the same, right? I've heard people that are saying like, oh, well, I, I wanted to go swim with this group, but when I showed up, there was no other black folks there, so I didn't go. Well, it gotta be one, it gotta be the first one. Somebody gotta do it. Somebody gotta do it. Like, you know, Rosa Parks had to sit and say, I ain't getting up. Like somebody had the Mars, like it, all these things, it has to be a first, but we can't complain if we're making choices not to, to diversify the swim community. Diversity must exist for us all to, to like live in harmony. It has to happen. Like that's why I enjoy Iron Man. That's why I enjoy the races because it's not about what color I am because it don't matter. Like water don't care what color you are. Mm. <laughs> like, that like that's the right. great equalizer. It don't care <laughs> if whatever, like, but if you, if you have already made your mind up, with no limbs, heart surgery, 90 years old, black, white, Asian, Hispanic, it don't matter. Once you've made your mind up that you wanna accomplish something, that's all that matters. And that's what we all have in common, right? We all came to swimming with fear, right? We're just a little bit ahead of it. Like, just like you coming into your, your freshman year, we, we in, you know, graduate school or something like that. We all at different points in our lives, but. We, when we came to it, we, we were just like you. We had to start somewhere. Yeah. People learn how to swim just like you every day. Mm -hmm. They make a choice to do something different, right? They, they leave behind who they used to be and decide to be somebody different. My worry would be I can put all of my trust in you, but what if I don't trust myself? That we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs>